All right, so let's do some fire straightening today. I've got these atlatl darts that I harvested a month ago. I tied them up to keep them straight as they cure. And now I'm gonna untie them. I'm gonna get out all the little kinks of each and individual dart. And then after I'm done with fire straightening, I'm gonna tie them back together and let them cure for another month before I add some tips to them and start hunting with them. So let's start straightening these. Okay, so this piece is getting really close. Now, don't be afraid, when you're fire straightening, don't be afraid to get it pretty close to the fire. You just wanna keep it moving around, keep twisting it, and go up and down the shaft just like that so, you're, have the, so you have the heat even throughout the cane. But whenever you get to the smaller ends here, you don't need to go super, super heavy with the heat because they're so thin. And it can already bend as is. You don't even need fire in the first place. Sometimes the fire just warms it up to loosening those fibers. So it's less likely to split, crack, and, uh, and it'll harden actually in that form a whole lot better when you use fire. Okay, so this one's about done here. It's the last one. And I'm gonna put these all back together, tie them all back up, and let them cure for another few weeks to a month. And then after that point, I'm good to go to fletch these and make some broadheads, blunt tips, fishing tips, different types of hunting tips for these. And I'll make more videos about that, so you stay tuned because I'll uh, show the entire finishing product of these. And I'll go hunting with them, hopefully this fall and winter, which will be very exciting. So. Basically, that's all you have to do to fire straighten. You just need your material and a fire, and then you just need some time, and that's all you got. And no worries about, you know, trying to get it perfect because once you use them, they'll kind of uh, dial in a little bit, and you'll figure out the best position to hold it, especially if you're using something wild like this river cane. If you just buy a piece of wood from the store or online, it's going to be straight as a stick because it's probably manufactured in some way with machine tools. But uh, this is one of my favorite primitive methods of fire straightening. And that's how you get all the kinks out. Use your knee, use a little bit of force, it's okay. Heat up the thicker part more than the thinner part, it doesn't take as much. And once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy and it's pretty fun. You can make these things pretty straight. Okay, so here's my material. Fire straight and river cane darts. And again, so using the fire and the heat to your advantage is a great way for straightening materials such as darts or arrows that you need. The heat I've noticed after curing, the material tends to stay more locked down in that position and it won't wanna go back to any kinks or bends and unnatural faults that you found in the material to begin with. So. The fire is a great technique for straightening your arrows and darts that you need. And when these are done in about a month, I'll go ahead and fletch them out with some feathers. I'll make some broadheads, different hunting and fishing tips for these. And I'll make some videos about that, so make sure you stay tuned for those. But anyways, yeah, fire straightening arrows.